today we'd like to go into a little more detail and understand silence because there are a lot of misconceptions out there when it comes to silence. Mm. For some, being silent could just mean that I don't talk. Now, is that the kind of silence that we're referring to? Not talking is a means to enter mental silence. It's not that we should talk and have mental silence. That is also no solution. <laughs> but in order to attain mental silence, we first have to know that every human soul originally comes from the soul world where there is no sound at all, no thought at all, no time consciousness at all. So, and with this consciousness, when we first enter a body, with this consciousness we come to this world. So it is actually something very natural that we know, that we have experienced, and we are identical with this consciousness. Okay, um, so you're saying that um, the verbal silence is the first step to experiencing this inner silence. Is that correct? Even when we switch back to the first flight from the soul world to our first body, even there, coming down, we don't talk. It's just a being conscious. It's just the experience, I am this light. And naturally, we spread this silent light full of all Gyani attainments to the entire universe. This is the original state of mind. Okay. Um. And then, when we now, having come to a state of mind that is completely disturbed and loud, when we now want to recall this original silence, we have to do a few steps that allow us to enter this original consciousness again. As it is hidden, we long for it, but we can't catch it. The means of thinking peacefully, thinking positively, when any negative thought comes up, is the first step towards mental silence. Um, is there any difference between silence and stillness? Um, or, no, it is the, the same. It means the one and the same thing. It means okay. thoughtlessness. Okay. Well, I'm really trying to understand uh, what silence is. And first we ruled out the verbal silence. We know it's not just sitting quietly. That's not what we mean by silence. So there is no difference between stillness, inner stillness, and silence. That's another point we understood. But the mind starts wandering. I sit here and I say, I want to be silent. You know, I don't talk, mm. but I want to be silent. What is it exactly that I am trying to do when I say I want to be silent? The soul longs for this original stage of thoughtlessness. Because it's the full stage in which we have got all attainments again that we once had. And the soul longs for this consciousness again. Therefore, it wants to be silent. But then if it pushes himself or herself to be 
quiet inside, the mind does the contrary and speaks loudly. Again, the means to keep the mind in a peaceful state is peaceful, positive thoughts. If we have such thoughts for a while, naturally, the state of mind of thoughtless silence comes up. It installs itself suddenly. Um, in our previous episode, we said that um, this came to you relatively easy in terms of, and quickly. Mm -hmm. But to a lot of us out there, it's a struggle. It's really not that easy to silence the mm -hmm. mind. Um, so is that what silence is? Is silence the mind? Because what I understand about the mind is mind always thinks. I mean, that's its nature, to think. Mm -hmm. So when we're talking about silence here and we're talking about silencing the mind, it's not an easy task. So how do we do it? <laughs> because the mind goes on and on. It just wants to think. It jumps from one thought to another to another. Mm -hmm. And it just doesn't want to want to stop. So this is the external nature that it wants to think. The deep internal nature is to be thoughtless. It's, uh, to be silent is nothing artificial that we have to acquire because we are too loud. The state of being silent is natural for each soul. Brahma Baba has described this state as the karmatit stage. Could you please explain karmatit a little bit? Karmatit means having no karma in the mind. Being really, really being free. And not having to think positively, not having to think negatively anyway. But just have no thought. And when we have this stage initially, we long for more of it. Mm -hmm. And the mind then talks. And we try to have positive thoughts, peaceful thoughts, and the mind goes back to a new stage of thoughtlessness, to a bit of a higher stage of thoughtlessness. So to accumulate thoughtless energy means to again and again switch back to positive, peaceful thoughts. Okay. Because they transform the tendency of the old thought patterns Correct. to become Babsaman. 